find the value or values of x in the interval between 0 and 3 theta. And this should be find the values of theta since we're working with degrees. I have a quadratic equation. Whenever you have a quadratic equation, you want to make it equal to 0. So therefore, I move my 1 to the left. It's a positive becomes a negative. You want to write down your square first. So we have 2 cosine square of theta plus cosine of theta minus 1 equal to 0. Since we have a quadratic equation and we have three terms, we are going to factor this out. If we're not able to factor it, then we'll have to use the quadratic formula. Factors of 2 cosine squared will be 2 cosine of theta and cosine of theta. You can think of this as being 2x squared. It will be 2x and an x. Factors of 1 will be 1 and 1. That's a negative 1, so 1 negative, 1 positive. Remember that you are going to be multiplying. That gives me 2 and that gives me 1. So therefore, I'm going to make my 2 a positive, and that's a negative. And that gives me positive 2 minus 1 gives me positive 1. And from there, I'm going to use my zero power property. Since they are multiplying and they're equal to 0, I know that at least one of them should be equal to 0. That's 1 equal to 0. Move the 1 to the right and divide by 2. So it gives me the cosine of the angle is equal to 1 half. Move the 1 to the right becomes a negative 1. And I, just, I, need to, I need to evaluate this. So I'm going to place my x and y axis. Since these are the values that we know, we can find the exact value without using a calculator. First, cosine of an angle is equal to 1 half. We're working with degrees. Cosine is the next value. It has to be positive, so therefore it has to be on patterns 1 or 4. And 1 half is the shorter side. So therefore, it has to be this quadrant here. Same thing on the bottom part will be this side here. Both of them, both angles have uh, the x value to be the shorter side. So therefore, this will be 60 degrees. And this will be 270 plus 30 will be 300 degrees. Cosine is negative 1. Remember, cosine is your x value. If it's negative 1, it will be Right over here, this is negative 1 comma 0. Your x value is negative 1. And this will be 180 degrees. So therefore, my angle is 60 degrees, 180, and 300. So your answer is B, C, and D.